course I just really didn't understand the meaning of Dan's concept. I didn't know the meaning of rave. Young people should be allowed to, to do these things. It, it, the dance party is happening with our full approval. Yes, it looked like uh, they're going to have a lot of fun. People come up, were saying to me, "Is Mikey B here? Is Bass Generator here?" Uh, we're the fourth largest town in the Highlands here, but a lot of people don't perceive that and realise the size of Olmos. I think all age groups seem to come, uh, from the very young to the middle-aged. actually met the organisers myself, uh, but we have seen the ravers coming to party, yes. Do they look like a happy bunch to you? Are they going to have fun? Yes, they look like they're, they're going to have a lot of fun. I've got children who are in their teens and uh, young people should be allowed to, to do these things and uh, I can put up with it for one night, uh, a month or however often it is. And uh, I would also like to say that the events are very well run and compared to local dances where a number of a lot of people come out onto the street and can be quite rowdy and noisy the conduct of the patrons is normally very very well behaved It's a safe environment for the young people to go to and it's well stewarded and the security is good and the facilities are good, the facilities are excellent and uh, rather than have them go to some illegal place we're quite happy to have them in a, in a properly uh, a stewarded centre. Yes that's right, we've had all the famous ones, we've had Mikey B, we've had Sneaky Eye, we've had a Bass Generator, I think we've had them all, we've had reporters from M8, uh, from not knowing a soul I know a lot of people now. <laughs>
because obviously with them staying here as well, I think quite a few folk know that they stay here and it's been quite good for us to say a lot of people come in, ask about them, what they're doing, uh, are they at the Avron Centre, are they upstairs and it's really the first time I've had anyone famous staying at the hotel. talking to Christine who actually manages the Avon Centre, or at least I think she does. Is that what you do? What do you do? I do. I'm the manager of the Leisure Centre. Well, you've got your first all-night dance event coming up. Have you done a lot of organisation for that? Are you ready for it? We're ready for it. There's been a lot of preparation, obviously, a lot of uh, building and uh, constructing and ordering, make sure everything's here. But yeah, we're all set now, ready to go. What would you think of the production that you've seen so far? Obviously, it's, we're about two hours to go to the opening time now and uh, all the lights have been loaded in, the sound is ready. What do you think of the production you've seen? Everything's looking good. We've got queues waiting already, so obviously everyone's ready to go and I think it'll be a really good night. Yo, that's concept crew, how are you all feeling? And we have the next DJ of the evening. Happens to go by the name of the KFC. Drop a tune, rude boy. This is the Grattan Pussy here. This is Grattan. So, so where, where's, it, where's that actually from? Where is it then? About, about <laughs> seven years now. Stands here this new heavyweight champion. KMC. Check one. And who have you come to see tonight? Uh, Having a buddy. Who's that? Human resource. How are you feeling all this? Big up all the whistle crew. Big up on the jump round crew! Top of the KMC, show you what to do! Get lively, jump round! Nice and easy does it, neat and tidy from the KMC! Wicked things, man! But what's your name, where are you from? Neil McFarland. Yeah, where do you come from, Neil? Right, guy. As we big up our junglers, come alive, wicked style! Hi, my name's Lauren. I'm from Inverness and it took about half an hour to get through here. And I'm really excited for it. Brisk, definitely. Nice and easy with the flow. Have we got a chance to here? Test best selection from the KMC. Nice, this is Gillian, my friend. Hi, Dean. Scott. Where are you from? Um, Inverness as well, yeah. Came on the same bus? Definitely, definitely. 
Yes, and I think I could be more cold than she is actually. Yeah, you won't be cold when you get inside though, will you? Oh, definitely not, definitely not. Warming up nicely. I'll pick up a broad kiss mess. Big up Arsen, big up a Nadu crew. Oh, stabbing our crew. Nice and steady as we move on the shadow. Go with the flow, Ruba! Rockwa! Move your body, body! Wicked star, KC! Turn down the mic, turn down the mic! Go. Check one, check one, check one, 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 two. Wicked. Press the move, your body, your tool will be done, done. Dance, come, step, come alive. Press the move, your body, your tool will be done, down. Bring it down. As we go with the flow with these, you know. Oh, Big up my dance game crew. Cool. This one's for you, the drum and bass. Wicked, traces in your face. Oh, massive. For the jump round, better get down. For the game, see, better rock your sound. As we go with the flow, rules your nose, step it up. Turn over, please. Yeah. Rolling up. And this is a Q Audio crew. This is scene 19, take one. Oh. Alright, we're the Q Audio crew. Woo-hoo! Yeah. Right, from Dundee, this is Wigsy. Scotty boy. Big Scotty, and that's Big Les. We're uh, seriously into this. We enjoy it a lot. This is where we make all our money. It's class. It's yeah, but you like the music too, don't you? Of course. Yeah. Especially mm, these the, guys. The techno's a bit of a buster, but... Drum and bass as we all know is taking over. Drum and bass, drum and bass, drum and bass takes over. Jungled up. So way ahead of our time. Totally way ahead of our time. When these Scottish guys get into this, we're going to be number one. Totally. When the Scottish jungle scene takes off, it's just going to roll. I agree. <laughs> a technical spec, really big boxes making lots of noise. About 20 to 30,000 watts of drum and bass. Quite simply. KMC's on just now, tearing it up, doing the business. But you like techno too, don't you? You like a bit of Scottish techno. Techno, 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 techno. No, well, you know, it's kind of tired. It's been there. It's too unlimited. They're pretty yeah. cool, isn't it? I need up from too unlimited. Uh, I need up to watch Let's have the big hands up. Come at my house anytime. Dance concept. Well, dance that's, as a concept is fair. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's <laughs> Mikey and his dudes, eh? Uh, dance yeah. concept crew. They're fairly cool. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Which is your favourite chick in the dance class? Uh, the one that's dishing out the beers to us later on. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do us, like. We've done all the uh, all this, we've done Newcastle, we've been just about anywhere Mikey's been basically. We are Mikey's number one sound crew. We number do one. all his That's favorite it. gigs, we do just about anything he wants us to do, uh, within reason. Yeah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not wow. in the biblical sense, of course. It's a really nice place to do a gig this as well. The Avalon Centre and we're going to get treated quite well, looked after. Good crew. Like meals, Although meals. there was there was a smart television there which we were going to watch Beavis and Butthead on later on. Oh no, really well, not. And Severe lack of beavers and butthead. We're not into it. No Roseanne tonight. We miss Roseanne. Oh, let's come alive with the sound. Sound of the bad boy KMC. And this food ever with champion. Easy, easy, go. 
Take you to get here? Uh, about 45 minutes. Yeah. How many have you jammed in that bus? Uh, eight. Eight of you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, baby. Ah, baseline. We're going to every time. Oh, Big up on our next school. Big up on our concept girl. All crews from Scotland. Oh, yes, an actor. What do you make to dance concept? Oh, yeah, well, Magic! 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 Oh, stamina massive, wait boy. Yeah. Oh, stamina crew, stand by, it's your time, but a big time. But a jump, bro, but a get down, but a big time, but a get down, but a move down, but a get out, right? Yeah. And we got the KMC. Steady as we go. Now listen to the bass line, old crew. Got to watch your body, put a bit of watch your body, because you got to move it down, hey? That is we go. Oh, excellent. Been everyone. Been yeah. everyone. Take you up and 
North you've ever been? Yeah. yeah. And has it filled your expectations? Oh, more than that. Yeah. How does this compare to bigger gigs down in England? Um, it's like what England used to be. Um, it's, it's excellent. I mean, I've danced at larger ones, Fantasia, etc. And it's the crowd's it's response is exactly the same. There's enough atmosphere here to fill any hall. I think the scene up here is much happier than I've seen it. I've been down to places further down south. Um, and it's very, very happy up here. Everybody's just in it for a party. Yes, I've been, I've been down into the crowd. I've noticed the, they're all get, getting into the sort of spirit of things. They've all mm -hmm. come sort of. Everybody's yeah. willing to we come up to you, sort of give you a hug, ask you who you are, where you're from, what to, want, want to know what you're doing tonight, and everything like that. So all in all, it's quite a friendly atmosphere. Oh, definitely. It's just like one big family. Yeah. That's why, that's why people come here. Now we're here till seven in the morning. It's quite early in the evening. Are you going to last the pace? Definitely. Yes. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Professional doesn't work. Not that I'll be dancing constantly, but as much as I can, yeah. Just take a nice break. Oh, yeah. yes. Especially bass generates pain. <laughs> <laughs> or Mikey B, or... <laughs> well, thank you very much for talking to us. Thanks very much. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, you're ready. I want that big, big Scotland shot. Make some noise for Neurotech! Two, one, two. Scotland, are you out there? Are you ready for the sound of hero tag? Yeah. <laughs> 
Basin has become a production center for the country's biggest illegal export for cocaine. Right now is party time, Scotland! Listen to why you running the party! Are you ready, Scotland? Are you ready to bow today? Boy, you boy, now! Get the win. What about now we get the party started, Scotty Crew? We got the we got the win. Party Crew, you know what you're trying to say?
Le flow Yeah Body King, you gotta pick it up a little bit more now for you, Scotland. Scotland, you're the wicked crew and the big guns in this one. I wanna see everybody jumping out fucking mental. Scotland, are you ready? One, two, three! sample of other uh, records we just make all of our own things ourselves you know right. so what's your name you are my name is paul okay introduce them all this is darren darren mc rock dancer 
Bronke, dancer. Uh, we formed about two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we've been on the scene like uh, around the country, DJing and what have you as well, so we decided to form a band as well. Uh, we took it off from there, uh, done like a beat out all over the world, you know, all over the country, and uh, it took us to where we are now. Magic, magic. So, how many tracks have you actually got in your live set at the moment? We've got six tracks in the live set, but we've got over, I'd say around about 20 tracks all together. We've got three out on vinyl, we've got another five coming in about five months' time. Magic, okay. And then which label are they on then? On the base generator records label. Base CJ! Who looks after you at the moment? Michael Bing. Mm -hmm. Good to work, good to work with? No, no. No, no, no. no. I'm not telling you no to all Mikey, I'm getting on well with him at the minute. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I've known Paul Wayne. He's always been okay for us. He's doing well for us. Tell us a lot. Tell us a lot, yeah. Yes. 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 Well, yeah. Yes. Easy, easy! Yeah, shoulder rave crowd there one time! Are you ready for the incredible sound of the bass generator? Are you ready for this? One time we're bringing it in for you, bass vibes up. You listening out there? Ayers. Hold it tight for the vibe. Who's ready for the answer? I can't hear ya. Who's ready for the answer? Yes! Let it ride! Hard sound. Some sort of thing. Ah, yes! On tight! Ready, ready! Eat a drum! Anna! Rolling! Drop me down!
Pass out. So what did you think to tonight then? Yeah, it was uh, it was really good. Well, well worth the eight-hour drive here. <laughs> Not sure if I'm going to enjoy the uh, eight-hour drive back home though. And you can tell as well from the um, people who organise it, they're into what they're doing, and they they like what they're doing. Yeah, and that, that's why they put on such a good event. It proves how strong the scene is as well. If mm. people are prepared to travel this distance to event, you know, to an event like this. The MC on the stage, you, everybody's focused on the MC, the DJ's there, you can see the DJ as well. I'm talking to uh, Inspector McGregor now. Uh, what do you think of the organisation that you've seen so far? Uh, the organisation so far is fine. They uh, seem to have adequate stewards and I know there's first aid cover and uh, there are uh, sort of stewards on the door and they seem to be controlling things in a correct manner. Is there any difference between this event and previous dance concepts in that this is an all-night event and the previous ones have just been uh, up until the early hours? Uh, previous events ran until 3 and there were people coming out up to 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this one is supposed to run until 7 o'clock in the morning, so we may have people emerging between 7 and 8. Um, that is the difference. It's uh, unusual in this area to have all-night events. So this, is, in a way, is a, a trial to see if they can, it can be held uh, without any incident at all. So obviously we are very interested to see if we can run it properly. But certainly the, the, the events that you've been present at in the past appear to be run in a satisfactory manner as far as you're concerned? Yes, there were no um, uh, disturbances, assaults or uh, drunkenness. Uh, so we're, we're happy obviously when that happens. One, two, one, two! 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 Well, mainly we're going to make sure that they're not going to overheat and uh, that there's no one here collapsing. If they do, we're here on hand. Basically, it's doing their best to keep as cool as possible and taking as much fluids, water, soft drinks, anything, just to keep the body fluids up, keep it going that way. In the course of an evening, if you think you're dancing for 12 hours, what sort of amount of fluid should you be drinking? Because it's an awful long time to dance and sweat it all out. Well, I would say pints and pints of it, yeah, and, and if you feel tired, don't keep going, just have a break and sit down for a while, cool off, have a drink. Obviously, do you think it's important to have organisations like yourselves at events like this to keep the dancers safe? By all means, yeah. It takes a lot of um, hassle away from, like the ambulance, paramedic, they can be used elsewhere and they can back us up if and when we want them. Bye.
Hi, I'm Stuart Meldrum from Boss Security. This is Mark Henderson, my partner. We're up here in Al Ness tonight covering the dance concept uh, event tonight, which we cover all of Mikey B's events uh, in the past six, seven months. So I hope everybody up here enjoys the night tonight. We here as an agency, Boss Security, are here to make sure the event goes secure. We supply the stewards who come in and make sure that all the public are at safety and make sure there's no problems on the night, just to make sure that when they're all coming in, they're getting searched, they're coming in, they're enjoying the night and there's no problems. All, all our team's got on good with dance concepts, so we got on really well with Mikey B, so there's no, never been a problem now. We've managed to pin down Mikey B for five seconds out of his frantic schedule. Just talk a bit about uh, dance concept. Can you tell us who's behind the success of dance concept? Everyone is really. Um, everyone who's ever attended any of our events had a really good time. I, I like to think it's everyone's success. So who is it who actually runs the company? Who's behind the company? I actually run the company, um, but I couldn't take credit for all the work because it's actually a whole crew of people. Um, there's various partners on different projects and schemes that I do. There's also a whole crew of people that make the night come together from the sound crew to the office crew, Tonya, Evans, Sibs, Guy, Les, all the security. It's just like it's one big happy family. Everyone comes together and it's great. How much work do you put into each event? I put in a great deal of work, so do, you know, as did the, the uh, rest, of, rest of the crew really. Um, even on a small event, you, you, you're talking a minimum of a month's pre-work. But on most of our events, which are large in scale, um, we like to put in at least six months' work, finding out like, who the kids want to see, um, which direction the, the scene's going, uh, what, what, what attractions, what sort of production. You know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a long period of time, but it's worth it in the end, you know. I mean, like you've seen as well, you know, it's just, it's, it's a quality event run by quality people. And a lot of time goes in to make sure that the punters, who are the most important people of all, get what they deserve. The dance concept saga hasn't always been about Old Ness. Take a look at this. So I have here with me Ralphie D, who's all the way from New York. Did you enjoy your flight over to Bonnie, Scotland? Um, yes and no. Uh, the flight from <laughs> from New York to London was uh, quite empty, and I got a chance to lay down and sleep on the four seats in between. But the only problem was I kept getting woken up because of turbulence, and I was told, put your seatbelt on. And if you do that about six or seven times during a, a six-hour flight, it becomes kind of tiring. So uh, then I had to change in London, had a three-hour layover. But I did finally get to sleep, so I'm ready to go. Let's set the record straight. Lenny and I are very close friends. We've known each other for a very long time. And um, the reason why... Um, the D's are at the end of our names are because we are both Italian Americans. Our last names are too long to pronounce. My last name is D'Agostino. <laughs> Lenny's last name is D. Desiderio. So what happens is we just cut the D's off for short and um, the rest is history. Tell us a bit about the American dancing. Worst. <laughs> uh, actually, um, there, there is a dance scene in America, but it's just not in New York. Uh, radio um, kind of uh, abandoned dance music for the last two years, and hip-hop is really ruling the airwaves now. And uh, obviously, as you know, that once you sell records to radio, radio is a very big tool in selling records to people. So what's happening now, hip-hop is, uh, is very big. And um, dance music, uh, the rave kind of stuff, techno stuff, has spread to the suburbs uh, of New York where there are, there are very small raves. And then it has spread to like the Midwest, like Chicago, St. Louis, uh, even up in Toronto where I've played at all these places. And the scenes are very strong even though they're small. Well, what am I going to do? I'm going to do the best conceivable <laughs> hardcore that you have ever heard. Second... <laughs> Remember the words, totally caned. <laughs> Ralphie D, totally caned. Scotland in the house. Dance concert promoters tell me that you're going to be a big name to watch for in 95. So what kind of music do you play then? Uh, well, I play mostly techno and a mixture of happy hardcore intertwined in the mix. That's about it, really. I've forgotten to say your name is DJ Brisk, of course. <laughs> Where did you get your DJ name from? 
Uh, that's a long story, but it comes from uh, the hip hop days when graffiti used to be big and every graffiti artist had their tag and that was mine, so it stuck. <laughs> so what do you like about the Scottish dance scene? Well, I've only been in once before and uh, that was at the same venue, the Foo Bar. And basically, the crowd, they're, they're just wild. <laughs> the, pe the people, they really, they really appreciate what you do and uh, you know, just the crowd really. Are they wilder than they are down south? Um, they like to let their hair down a little bit more, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going down south. They're, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're, they're a good bunch down south as well, but uh, up here I find that there's more techno nutters. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your secret, do you think, to being a good DJ? Uh, reading the crowd. You, I mean, at the end of the day, the, the people pay you to, to have a good time. So read the crowd, uh, test them out, make see what goes down the best and stick with that. Well, things are looking good in your career, but they're looking even better in your love life, aren't they? Because you've just become engaged, and can you remember that date? Come on. <laughs> I think you know the answer to that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the answer is no, I can't remember when I got engaged, and uh, I'm going to kill you for this market. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's the interview that I've been dreading the most, because I am with DJ Producer, who is apparently totally crazy. So, where did you get this reputation then, Mr. Producer? <laughs> Dunno. <laughs> just sort of happened, really. You know what I mean, it's just like the music does its thing, and I do my thing with the music, and that's just basically what happens. Scotland's on that whacking it tip, and they heard about it. I came up here, and here I am. And I've heard that you um, bounce around on behind that DJ box as if you've lost your marbles. So, is this true? Do you bounce about while you're on the on the decks? Uh, yeah, a lot. Um, then that's sort of something that's always been like that ever since I've been DJing. I mean, I was a hip-hop DJ from the start. And the raw energy, what with the turntables flipping from the one to the two to two to the one, that gets you hyped up anyway. And what with the techno scene coming on, the BPMs getting higher and higher, the music coming faster and faster, the energy is just so hard to dismiss, you just get sucked into it. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's just right. one of them things. Which is worse, you or Basie G? I mean, I've heard that you've been carried out of a dance concert venue completely unconscious after drinking and partying with Mr. Generator. Is this true? All right, I won't lie, yeah, it's completely <laughs> true. Um, yeah, we did get pretty slaughtered last time I was here, as far as I can remember. <laughs> um, yeah, it did get very hectic, and basically that's, that's where Scotland's at, man. It's down south, it's good, they have a pie, but I come up here, every time I've come up here, I haven't been right for days, it's good up here. And yeah, Guy, Guy lost it, big star. <laughs> well, what do you think of uh, Guy, Basie G? What do you think of him? What can, what can be said about Guy, Basie Generator that hasn't already been said, man? The most enthusiastic crowd is, is, is I, I, I think <laughs> it's a dance concept. How you What's up, y'all? Back in this motherfucking house to sell you the hardest, the hardest of the hardcore. Yeah. Yo, turn up the sound, y'all. Turn it up. Come on. Turn it up. Hear me now. Hear me now. Hear me now. This is the hardcore sound from Rotterdam. This is the hardcore sound from Rotterdam. Throw your fucking hands up in the air. Come on. Yeah. This is the human resource. Really you the kicking noise of Russia there. Oh yeah. Okay y'all. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Come on. Come on.
Want ik vind het kanker in te... Ja, dat verstaan ze ook. Ja, hè? Je moet echt oppassen, man. Optieven, opgepast. Mag ik wat vragen? Kanker zo, Gido. Ja, jij. <laughs> Gelooft u? Ma mag ik ook even één ding zeggen? Oké, okay, there's one thing I want to say. Kanker allemaal. En dat is de next. De mosselman. De mosselman. Oké. Dat is our message, you know. Oké. Okay. Here he comes Robert again. I'm back again. I'm back again. Really, really. That's better. Good evening. It's good to see you here. Right. Time for the uh, headlining attraction of the night. If you make enough noise for them, that is. All the way from Holland. I want some fuck off noise for human resource. Yeah. The question is. Are you ready for some hardcore? Are you ready? They are Holland's number one live on stage. I want some fuck off noise for human resource. Do you love your hardcore? Come on. Hey, man, come on. Watch me! 
right there. You're not getting tired, are you? Are you in there? You're not getting tired, are you? Fucking hardcore. Where the motherfucker? Where it? Hardcore to your fucking bone. Do you want some more? You One, two, it? three, four. Go on. for you I got some more for y'all in store and this time no this time there's no escape no one escape no one will escape the sound of riots Sound of no the fucking hardcore. You know, all shit is like Alcatraz. Once you get in, you don't get out. <laughs> no one will escape the sound of Bryce. Yeah. Even if your name is Eastwood, Scotland Posse, are you ready? Go on. Okay. 
Dance Concert 1995 and it's been an amazing gig so far loads more things to happen as you can see behind me one or two jocks are sort of tuning up and getting ready for their set and you can hear in the background some of the best music in the north of Scotland today Looking now to Tonya who's the stage show coordination and choreographer to tonight. She's looking after all the dancers and basically anything visual entertaining that you'll see on the stage. How many dancers have you got this evening? Um, we've got plenty tonight. Obviously with three rooms, well two stage rooms, we'll have at least five dancers for each stage. Um, we've gone with the UV theme tonight, we're all in white, so we'll be bright and breezy. How long do your dancers manage to dance before they have to go and have a rest and a chill out? As long as possible. Not very long with bass generator on, obviously. Um, just whenever. We've, we've got water nearby all the time and we do get uh, But we'll have a lot of dancers to cover for the, for the time that we're too knackered, basically. And are we going to see you dance tonight, then? I've, I've heard that you put a wicked turn on stage. Well, uh, I try, yes. Most definitely. I enjoy it. It's great. <laughs> How you doing? My name is DJ FX and I'm at Dance Concept. DJ lineup is one of the best I've ever seen in Scotland. I mean, the DJs that they bring up, they're not just only giving you the Scottish DJs, they're bringing up with DJs like DJ Vibes and DJ SS. I mean, they're top DJs down south. They're starting to progress more and more in Scotland. And I think it's a good idea what Mikey's doing and bringing them up from down south because there's not a lot of promoters there, you know what I'm saying? And see what the atmosphere is like, I mean, they are rocking down there. They are rocking. I mean, I've not seen a crowd like that in so long, you know what I mean? It's just all smells. Happy people having a good night, you know what I mean? Glasgow. So is this your first dance contact? No, no, no. no. Are you going to be coming to the next oh, dance Oh yeah, contact? you're too right. Yeah, definitely. I'll be here. Happy Reba! Happy crew! It's time to rock your rumble! I don't jump into the time and make you sweat. Get your wrist with a tango set.
you look happy. You've had a good time tonight. Yeah. Yeah? What's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer. Where'd you come from, Jennifer? Oh, right on speed. Yeah? How'd you get down here tonight? Uh, my friend. <laughs> That was alright, like, it was really good. I've yeah. seen them before. Like, Foo bar, seen. twice at Foo yeah. bar, they're just amazing. Yeah. over the years, like, yeah. they're a lot harder than they used to be, so mm -hmm. I can imagine. Yeah. Okay. Well, so you all really had a good, good. time, yeah? Oh, good chat. Yeah, I see so, Okay, right. thanks guys. Right. Cheers, bye bye. bye. So what's your name? Alan oh, Downey. And where'd you come from? Aberdeen. Oh, How on earth did you get down here then? He drove down. <laughs> you drove? Aye. You're driving back home tonight? Aye. Just a while for you. And you're not tired? No. So it must have been a brilliant gig then? Was, yeah? Magic. Best. You going to the next one too? Are you going to the next dance concert? Aye, we've been yep. to them all. Yeah? We've got the next one. Excellent. We've got the next one after that. Excellent. What do you think of the production tonight? Magic. It's really good. It's now ten, ten hours later. Oh, Alan, how do you feel? Amazing. Yeah? Very, very fit. What did you think of the production tonight? Well said. Really good. Definitely going to make it work. How did you actually hear about this, this uh, event tonight? Um, oh my God. Emmy on Message for dance concept messages. Watch out because we're coming large, big 95 and we're doing it for you so make sure you're there to support us as you have been. Nice one.